family. I'm back again with more information to help you guys out on this HCG diet. I'm giving you some tips and things that I am doing and have done to help me. About two weeks into the diet, um, I begin having leg cramps. And I did a little bit of research. Um, because we're on this very low calorie diet, our bodies are not receiving the normal vitamins and minerals that we would normally get from our foods that we eat. And so since we're on this mineral diet, I found out there's certain other, you know, um, supplements that we need to incorporate into this diet to um, keep us healthy, uh, you know, keep us um, energized and, you know, so on and so forth. I also noticed that um, I had started a hair journey slightly before I started this diet and I had to cut that short because I wasn't able to use, you know, all of the um, oils and things that, you know, our hair needs to grow. And I experienced a lot of hair shedding. I mean, a lot of hair shedding. Um, so some of the things I started doing, try to incorporate. Now, I don't remember to do it every day because sometimes I'm so busy and sometimes I'm lazy and I don't feel like doing it. But... We have to also remember to read the labels on, you know, on the foods that we eat, on the things that we buy that we're going to be using on this protocol. And we also, not just with that, but with the vitamins and the minerals, a lot of them have starches and a lot of them have uh, sugars in them, hidden sugars in them. So we have to make for sure that we read our labels even down to the vitamins that we're taking. Um, as far as the leg cramps, I don't have the bottle with me. I guess I forgot to get it. But if you start having uh, leg cramps on this diet, um, you know, more than a day or so, you know, unusual, that's something that you don't normally have, it's probably because our bodies are low on potassium. Now, I am no doctor. I've had a lot of medical problems, and I've been, um, you know, introduced, and I've been, you know, I've, been, I've learned a lot of things through my sickness about different things. Potassium, you know, our bodies need potassium to function. Our hearts need potassium to function. And I noticed that when I started having the leg cramps, immediately it brought me back to another video that I saw, another YouTuber who began having leg cramps with this. So potassium, um, and I'm going to tell you, I would advise you that even, you know, for your own, you know, confidence, if you need to go to a doctor to have your blood checked, you can do that prior to you can take too much potassium and make yourself sick. I'm going to tell you that right now. So you need to be very careful when you take potassium. I, at one point um, last year when I was taking a lot of vitamins and supplements, I was taking potassium every day. And my uh, internal medicine doctor found out I was taking potassium every day. And she literally screamed at me and told me, don't take potassium every day. You only take potassium if you need it because on the reverse side of that, it can make you very, very ill. Now, even when I had the leg cramps, I only took potassium, I think, twice that week. And I, I, I waited a few days before I even took another pill. So be careful when you take that. If you, if you begin having leg cramps, it's probably because your potassium is low. The other thing, too, that you need to make for sure that you continue taking is your multi-daily vitamin. I get these particular vitamins. They're just regular um, Spring Valley prenatal vitamins from, from Walmart. Even, um, I'm not pregnant. can't get pregnant. But I do um, take this prenatal vitamin because I know that it has all of the vitamins and the minerals that a, um, a pregnant mother would need for her and her baby. So I know that this is good for me too. So I make for sure that I take this multivitamin to... There was a couple of days, two or three days, that I went without taking this, and I was able to tell the difference. My energy level was just like, blah, you know. So I make for sure that I do take a multivitamin. The other things that I do take for my hair and my skin, you know, at least because I, I'm not able to do a lot, you know, a lot of conditioners and, you know, oils and things like that on my hair, is I take biotin. Biotin is good for your hair and your skin and your nails anyway, even when you're not on a protocol. It's just good for you. So I try to make for sure that I do take, you know, this biotin. Um, the other thing is magnesium. Um, I take the Spring Valley 
magnesium as well. Magnesium is good for you even if you're not on a diet. Magnesium helps you to um, break down um, the foods that you eat in your body. And um, while you're on this diet, you know, what, what harm would it do to take something that's going to help you even break down the food that you're already eating? It's not going to not help you get the nutrients and the supplements from the food that you're eating, but it's going to help you eliminate those wastes um, once your body has absorbed all of the nutrients from your food. So magnesium is good for that. <clears throat> Another thing that you can do, and I'm sure you hear about this all the time on TV, is about probiotics. And you may not care much about this, but the enzymes. Probiotics are like those natural um, antibodies that we need in our colon to help bring down, uh, break down the food and to break down the bacteria. And so probiotics as well as enzymes also help you to break down these foods in your body. They're good for you. They're good for your colon to keep your colon healthy, to keep it clean. Um, these particular um, probiotics and enzymes. I got these from Whole Foods here in my local city. Um, this is the Jaro, Jarodophilus um, probiotics and these are the source natural enzymes. My brother-in-law actually told me about these when I was having um, colon problems. If any of you guys were to watch my first video about two years ago I was diagnosed with intestinal endometriosis and Endometriosis, usually when a woman develops that, it stays just within her womb. But um, I wound up having surgery, and for four years, they left a uterus, a uterine stump inside of my body. And that thing uh, metastasized, and it, 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 it tumbled over with scar tissue, and um, it got into my ovary, and my ovary got about this big. And that ovary grew and it attached itself into my colon. So all of that disease was growing in my colon. So I wound up having to have a colon resection. And bit by bit, they started taking all of my female organs out. I'm telling you, it was a true nightmare. But he told me about these um, because they told me that, you know, it's a possibility that scar tissue may grow in my body again and that I may forever have to take something in order to keep my digestive system going. So these are some of the things that I take, you know, to try to help me, you know, guard against the problems that I had as a result of those surgeries. So the other thing, too, because, you know, sometimes even on this journey, even if you don't have a normal digestive problem, um, you can become constipated, you know, because we're the oils help to keep our system lubricated. It helps to keep your colon lubricated. It helps to keep everything soft. And sometimes if you're struggling with that, this is what I take. This is organic, smooth move tea. This tea is very, very good with helping you go to the bathroom. As a matter of fact, I have to take this tea every day. Even when I'm not on protocol, I take tea. I've tried many, but there are a lot of, out there that are too harsh for my system. I mean, just cramps and, you know, I, I don't feel like dealing with all of that. I want something that's going to help me and help me smoothly, and that's what this tea does. As a matter of fact, I use two tea, tea bags at a time for my system. If you're going to try, a lot of people that are on this HCG protocol use this particular brand tea. You can find it in Walmart. You can find it at Whole Foods. You can find it, I don't, I'm not sure about which, which health food stores, but I know that Walmart and Whole Foods has it. It's only about $4 a box. Um, there's about um, 16 bags that come in here. And so I, I buy this on a regular basis. I will continue to use this even when I'm off the protocol because I have to have something for me. So, but I just wanted to give you guys a tidbit on some of the supplements that I, I take. Um, make for sure that when you're taking your, your, like I said, when you're buying your supplements, you make sure there's no added starch, no sugar, and no yeast in, in, in your vitamins. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned. I will be making more.